So we've got a Snapper SPX series riding mower here this morning. It's got the 42 inch deck on it. Kind of standard for a lot of these. They This one was built in 2013. They make a newer SPX series uh, that I believe started in 2017 or 2018 that has a few different options that I'll go over um, that with you here also. But this one has the 20 horsepower Briggs & Stratton professional engine. So this is 540 cc, call it 20 gross horsepower. Now this is a decent engine, but they do have some camshaft issues. They have ever since this engine has been released. Uh, if you don't throttle down before you're turning off your unit, I've had people who have had, you know, three or four different camshafts fly apart over the years just because they're made with plastic. So uh, this model here is a 2691020. So again, one of the earlier models of the SPX series, it's 2013. I'm just going to go over some of the maintenance things here uh, and show you kind of what's good and what's bad about this unit. So uh, the transmission that's in it, it runs pretty quick, but it is a T2 HP hydro gear. So one of the lesser known hydro gear units, uh, I don't think they're used in a whole lot of things. I haven't came across a bunch of them. This is kind of one of the one of the ones in particular that use it. One thing I do really like about this unit is that everything is super easy to get to. So if you go up underneath, there's nothing blocking you from seeing anything. So you can get to every single pulley, you can get to your belt, you can take off the deck very easily. It's with the front hanger bracket. And then there's just two pins in back. So if you remove your two pins, one on each side, if you remove those, this deck comes right off, kind of kind of similar to what Simplicity has done over the years. So uh, we do love that about it. We love the ease of use. It's got the belt tensioner where you can just take the take the tension off your pulley here if you like. Take the belt off. We also like that you can get up and see up underneath your drive belt. That's all you got to do is look up under here. You don't even have to drop the deck down, change the deck level at all. Everything is just super easy to access. One other notable thing, grease certs on your spindles. That's great, we enjoy that. A lot of the newer stuff sold doesn't have that. Now this is a stamped deck, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, they do tend to bend and things like that, but with the way this is hooked up, kind of like the Simplicity design, it's a lot less likely to bend than like say an MTD um you know or an ayp model of something craftsman arians anything like that um it's just it's a lot better made to keep that from happening grease certs are great serviceability is great on this thing again that transmission is a little a little less known but the newer spx series does have the k46 transmission in it so uh the newer ones also have either a 23 or a 25 horse v-twin engine as opposed to the uh, 20 horse and those are pretty much bulletproof. They're they're great engines um, They sell them with either a 42 or a 46 inch deck on the 23 horsepower and then I think they do uh, uh, I believe 24 horsepower or 25 horsepower with a 48 inch deck also so the the great thing about the front is they got the cast iron front axles they also have ball bearings in the wheels. So as opposed to just having a sleeve there, you've actually got ball bearings. That's great. They're going to last a lot longer. You can also grease up underneath. There's a grease cert directly up top here. And that's going to be for greasing the front axle at the pivot point. A lot of the mowers do not have that. So then what happens is you just get premature wear there. And eventually the axle just ends up splitting in half gets real weak happens a lot so grease certs again everywhere on this you've got grease certs on the on the axle pivot here and then you've also got ones on the inside of the tire here to grease those bearings super easy super accessible the cut on this thing is pretty great too so it does a very good job of cutting it also has the quick drain feature here on the side which those other Briggs and Stratton ones are going to have that also. 
they're gonna have that quick drain feature which is super nice you just pull it off open your tube let it hang down and then you're drained you're ready to go you take off the oil filter throw some new oil in it put it back up it's a no tool change so uh, that's a great feature and then you've got all of your electronics very accessible up in the top and the newer SPX's are going to be kind of the same design uh, they again they do have that upgraded K46 transmission in it um, people have good and bad things to say I think it's a great transmission as long as you're um, taking care of it as long as you're not doing things that you shouldn't be with it it'll last you a long time this thing has the easy adjustment seat on it so instead of messing with removing like a nut or loosening a nut on the bottom to move the seat forward and backwards all you have to do is just pull it up and then and then the seat just rocks back and forth kind of the standard seat but it is a high back similar to some of the other ones around I also like on this that the seat switch very accessible in the back all you've got to do is flip it up and you can see the seat switch the wires everything like that there's nothing real hard to get to so serviceability wise should save you some money over the years if you have anything go wrong you can also on the underneath side here you can see everything up underneath with your transmission easy access points uh, easy way to see or get down in there and blow things out that way you don't get grass accumulation up on the top and cause the unit to prematurely fail so uh, again, this is the, I don't know, T2, uh, what is it? Looks like it's a T2 HP hydro gear. Again, not very common hydro gear. It is something that I'm not real familiar with, but PTO switch, pretty cool one here on the side. A little bit different than, uh, than a lot of them. So that will be an expensive part if you got to replace it. Not just a standard PTO switch, but it's got your reverse feature, kind of like the Simplicities do. Um, standard key switch. It also has the cruise control lock. So that's nice. Hydro foot pedal control. And this thing is pretty quick. Uh, has a really tight turning radius. I think they say 14 inches or something like that. Which is definitely a, a good turning radius. So uh, deck height adjustment. Just a manual adjustment here on the side. It goes from, uh, seems like about an inch and a half to about four inches, maybe three and a half, somewhere in there. So if you've got super tall grass, it may not be quite high enough for you. As some people like theirs to, to stay at about four inches. But this one, it's about three and a half to four inches there up off the ground. So we've got a, let's see here, on the other side, the throttle is just a standard throttle like most units. It's got the choke up to the top. It's not an automatic choke or anything like that. It's also got a headlight feature on the dash here. Parking brake lock on the left hand side. On these units, I'd say with the serviceability and the ease of use on them, how much you're going to save by uh, maintenance in general. You know, if you can do all these things yourself and they're accessible, don't have any issues with them whatsoever. Uh, I would say this is definitely a good unit. So again, the newer ones actually have an option to do the, the 42 or the 46 inch on the 23 horse. And those are going to be the same stamped steel deck that this one has or a similar one. Uh, will be greasable also, but they also sell those 25 horses with a fabricated deck if you're looking for a little bit of an upgrade. So you go that route and it's something that's going to last you for, you know, 15, 20 years. This is a good unit. I would say over any of the AYP uh, Craftsman, any of those, any of those other models out there right now, I'd say this Snapper is definitely a buy versus those. So, uh, serviceability-wise, quality-wise, everything like that, this is going to be better quality than any of those things that you can get out there. Better than those MTD Power More engines. Uh, I'd say definitely better than any of the Toro engines out there. You know, the uh, the ones that Lonson makes for Toro. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.